This is where nuclear power is made. Inside this massive concrete containment dome is a reactor full of radioactive uranium heating up in rods through a process called fission. It would be like uh, if you had um, a tough guy go in a room with a bunch of other tough guys and they start hitting and beating on each other and it, it just spreads and then, and then you have a riot. The thing that keeps the riot from leaving the rods is water, which circulates, heats up, and produces steam to power a turbine, making energy. As soon as the earthquake tremors began, Japanese energy officials shut down 11 reactors by interrupting the fission process. If you go to your stove and you want to turn your stove off, you turn the knob, you turn off the stove. The way you turn off a nuclear reactor somebody turns a knob and they put control rods next to the uranium rods. Water must continue to flow around the rods to cool them down. At three reactors, though, power failures kept that from happening. Okay, your backup system should have kicked in. They have all these generators. Didn't happen. Or apparently they failed. And so they had to start putting seawater in. That's like the Hail Mary pan, <laughs> where you're just really desperate now. Even with the two Fukushima explosions so far, this is nothing like Chernobyl, where in 1986, the control rods malfunctioned and the fuel rods melted down. A subsequent explosion catapulted tons of radioactive material into the atmosphere. A hundred times as much radioactivity as Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombs combined went up into the air at Chernobyl. 25 years later, a dead zone with a 16-mile radius still surrounds Chernobyl and at least 11,000 children have developed thyroid cancer. Unlike Chernobyl, the explosions at Fukushima have come from the containment dome, not the radioactive core. The containment vessel only had a little bit of radioactivity in it, nothing next to what you would get or you would have to get in order to get sick. There are 104 nuclear reactors here in the United States. Could this happen here? I would say based upon our preparedness and on expertise and equipment, personnel, no, it won't happen here. But when you take a look at the simple things going wrong over there in Japan, like a generator, <laughs> that's disturbing.